realize that. You understand? When the Bible says, for God so loved the world, the world that he's talking about, like the priest's been saying, is the world of so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. What our people don't realize, what the brother was just throwing a fit a little while ago, is that our people do not know that the United States government is responsible. Our oppressor is responsible for the divide between blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. You understand? In the 1800s, after, you understand, slavery is starting to be over, our oppressor made an Indian Removal Act to kick so-called Native Americans off of their land and force them to move as far west as possible. Any Native Americans, they also made a Reservation Act that if you were no longer living on a reservation, then you were automatically considered to be a Negro in the 1800s. Plenty of so-called black people are actually Native Americans. Right. Michael Jackson, Janet Jackson, that whole Jackson family from Joe Jackson, those brothers and sisters are North American Indians, man. Right. Tons of our people. When God says the world that needs salvation, every people on the planet know exactly who they are, except for these 12 tribes of the nation of Israel. Right. Everybody. We paying right now. Your social security check that they're taking out of your taxes, that social security check is going to the Ukrainians. It's going to the same Iraqis and Afghans that American service members have been getting bombed and blown up from the last 20 years fighting war in Iraq and Afghanistan. That's right. But meanwhile, the only immigration problem that America talks about are the so-called Haitians and so-called Hispanics. Right. Why is that? Because we are the world that needs salvation. Right. Right. We are the world and no one is concerned if we live or die. It's a humanitarian crisis going on in Ukraine right now. A humanitarian crisis in Afghanistan. We need to secure the borders. Secure the borders. That's what your politicians say. But guess what? They weren't concerned about securing the borders when they let illegal Afghans into a United States Army C-130 jet and ship them back to America. They didn't ask for no social security cards, no shot records, no background check. They didn't ask none of that. And they never have to sit in social services. They'll never get their communities gentrified. They'll never be beat to death in Memphis like Tyree Nichols. They'll never have their backs broken like Freddie Gray. Never. You know why? Because their world matters. Their people matter. Their children matter. Their sons and daughters matter. But our sons and daughters, black, Hispanic, and Native American, our lives have never mattered to America. We in Richmond, Virginia right now, the heart of the Confederacy. That's right. That's what this place stands for, man. That's what America is. While you pledging allegiance to the flag and God bless America, God is going to destroy this place, man. That's right. God is going to wipe this place out with thermonuclear war for the evil that it has done to God's chosen people, man. Give me 1 John 2 and 15. We'll grab this scripture real quick, man. God want our people to realize John 3, 16 is to teach blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans to stop loving our oppressors, man. That's right. To separate from Islam, separate from Christianity, separate from democracy, separate from our oppressors' military and their police force and their governments and get and build up the government for your people. That's right. The officers for your people. You understand? The military for your people that specialize in your issues, growing up with no father, growing up in the shelter, growing up with failing schools, laying in the water, laying in the paint, poor living conditions, the richest country on the planet, give billions of dollars of aid to countries all across the world, even while they at war with them. Right. But they turn around and look at you like you're the greatest criminal on the whole planet for getting a measly $200 in food stamps. After 400 years of free labor and slavery that we did here in America right. and counting, read that, brother. First job. You damn right, we in slavery right now. This is the slave revolt. We here in the heart of the Confederacy. This is the slave revolt to free blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans from loving our oppressor. 
Our people need to be free from the lies of the Christian church so that we can reclaim our identity. Yes, That's right. what John 3.16 is about. John 3.16 is about teaching the slaves that God sent a savior, a black man from the ghetto named Jesus Christ that is going to return with 200 million of the armies in heaven and UFOs to destroy our slave that, masters. That's, right, that's, that's right. what God so loved the world about, that's man. Right, that's right. You trying to save Susie, Susie gonna get a job and execute your son at a traffic stop. Look up Betty Shelby. Terrence Crutcher truck broke down in traffic. Some oppressor, Miss Susie, showed up and gunned him down in broad daylight when his damn truck broke down in the middle of the road. That's what our people have to look forward to. We need the salvation. When they gentrify your neighborhood, they're going to put other nations of people in there. The Africans will have a place to live. The Arabs will be able to set up businesses. The Asians have no problems. But we will have a problem finding a place to live. Our kids will struggle to get a good education. We're going to struggle to keep our lights and utilities on. We're going to struggle to keep our families together. America has destroyed us so bad that out of all the women on the planet, the only woman that thinks that she don't need the man of her species is the so-called black woman. That is how much America has destroyed us. No female species is on purpose against her nature raising her young by herself. That's how bad America has destroyed us, man. We don't realize that. You think Jesus came to make you hug white people. Jesus came to make you turn your heart away from our oppressor so that you can love your brother and not gun him down on East and Broad. That's, right. That's what Jesus died for. Read that. First John chapter 4, verse 15. Bring it up. First John 2 and 15. No sweat, brother. First John 2 and 15. This is the real gospel message. You understand? This is the gospel message right here, Shabbat. This is the message. You want to know how to get off of drugs? How to fight that weed addiction, that cigarette, that Percocet addiction? How to keep black men out of prison? How to keep your daughter off of OnlyFans in the stripper pole? How not to get gunned down at a traffic stop? The solution is not paying your taxes. Ahmaud Arbery paid his taxes. Both of Gene paid his taxes. Philando Castile paid his taxes. Hey. They still executed them. The solution is not going to church. I bet you Tyree Nichols went to church, man. George Floyd went to church on Easter Sunday with Big Mama. That did not save our people's lives. The solution is not interracial marriages. George Floyd had him old snow bunny. Tracy Martin went and got a white girl and brought his black son to her white gated community and George Zimmerman executed Trayvon Martin. Integration ain't the solution. Martin Luther King tried it. It got him killed too. Right. We need to learn what God said. Read what Jesus said. Right. First John chapter 2 verse 15. Love not the world. What did Christ say? Love not the world. What did he say? Love not the world. I thought the Bible said for God so loved the world, Shabbat. Right. Yeah. That's what they've been telling me since I was in Pampas. Jesus loves all the boys and girls and children of the world. But this is in the New Testament that no preacher ever showed us. Read it again. First John chapter 2 verse 15. Love not the world. God said don't love the world. Keep going. Neither the things that are in the world. Neither what? Neither the things that are in the world. Human trafficking, what? The things that are in the world. Interracial marriage, what? Things that are in the world. Voting for your leaders, what? Things that are in the world. Lesbianism and homosexuality. Things that are in the world. Aborting your babies. Things that are in the world. Having sex with another man's woman. Right. Things that are in the world. God told us not to love the things that are in the world, man. Don't we realize that the reason why we are dying this way is only because our God is not protecting us? If we obey God, then the Lord would protect us, man. God is not protecting us right now. That's the only way we get killed at traffic stops. Black man, God made you the fastest runner on the planet. Every invention, from the cell phone, the traffic light, the refrigerator. Frederick McKinley John, John Standard invented the refrigerator. You can't go to a hotel, restaurant, 7-Eleven, or gas station without seeing a refrigerator. Without that one black man, there are no refrigerators. No refrigerators. The IBM computer, the laptop, 
The home video game cartridge was made by Jerry Lawson. It's Black History Month, ain't it, Shabbat? Right. Jerry Lawson, a black man who went to college in Queens, New York, made the first home video game cartridge and the home video game system. Why are they still telling us about Martin Luther King? They don't teach us about our inventions. The Bible said he gonna put them under our feet that have made no account of our labors, man. Yeah. We don't know what we've done in this place right. and how they eating our people up. A brother from Mexico made the color TV. You be watching TV in black and white without a brother from Mexico. His name is Luis Camarena Gonzalez. You understand? Like, the things that we have done, this is why God is saying he made one people above all the other people on the planet. Finish that, brother. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. God is forcing us to make a choice. He said if any man loves this world, loves this society, and the evil that is in it, he said the love of the Father is not in us. What does that sound like, Shabbat? It sound like God wants us to make a choice. Right. Don't sound like God is on everybody's side like the church been telling us. Maybe that's why we spent all these years in jail. Maybe that's why we keep getting shot. Maybe that's why we keep losing our neighborhoods. Maybe that's why a woman keep aborting our babies. You understand? Maybe that's why they put lead in our water and lead in our paint. Because God is not with us because we don't obey him. But the good news, we could turn back and serve the Lord. That's why the ISUPK is here. To find all the brothers and sisters in the city of Richmond and all throughout Virginia that want to save our people's lives and turn back and serve the Most High so that we can rebuild our nation, contact the ISUPK in Virginia, man.